Manchester. As I mentioned in the introduction to the programme, Cyril Doricott made a cameo appearance last night, and of course he is one of my great influences as a broadcaster. And I'm absolutely delighted to say that Cyril has made the effort to come into the studio tonight. Hiya, Mark! I believe you say on this show! Indeed, indeed. Now, it's nice of you to make the effort, because you've come a long way, because don't you live in Tunbridge Wells? No, if I can correct you there, Mark! Yeah? I used to live in Tunbridge Wells, now I live in Wales! Oh, Wales, whereabouts? In a sort of Bessie Code around there, very pretty. No, I live on the Golden Half Mile in Rill! Oh, and do you like it there? No, it's a fish hotel, but it's cheap! Yes, uh, so I believe. But uh, actually, uh, now you just demonstrated a technique that I was trying to revive last night. Yes, which I was... heard you, Mark. Yeah, right, well, it's the art of backwards talking, isn't it? When a sort of contentious word springs up. Well, when I first joined the BBC many, many moons ago, there was a great problem with saying Husk on the radio. I still believe that is. And I was the person who invented the old phrase of saying Husk you, you me Husk, not to get up your ass. But backwards. Brilliant, brilliant. You're a fucking genius, sir. Thank you. Anyway, what are you going to be doing for us this evening? Cough call. Where's the beer? Um, in fact, it's quite rare to hear Cyril on 1FM these days because he uh, very nearly went the way of his old cronies when Roger Bannister took over at Radio 1 when he was close to being sent down the road with all those other cantankerous coughing dodgers whose earning power outstripped any semblance of ability several decades ago. Um, in fact, it's a criticism often levelled at 1FM that its DJs are too old to be in touch with the kids on the street and it's just not true. I myself was in touch with the kids at the weekend when I threw them off my estate. I mean, I'm all for peaceful protest, but it's come to something when a top showbiz DJ can't badger bait in peace on his own land. <laughs> Only joking. Very nearly. Uh, right, Cyril Doricott, uh, that uh, veteran coffin dodger of the BBC's uh, broadcasting uh, excellence school, is uh, with us all evening, and in fact he's prepared a special report. <laughs> Yes, it's 1964 and the world is in turmoil. Yes, yes. The Warren Commission report on the assassination of President Kennedy is released and reveals indisputable evidence that Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone and did in fact shoot the president from 3,000 yards away, round the corner, four times with three bullets. So all those conspiracy theories appear to be unfounded bollock nonsense. But back in good old blighty, those naughty boys, the mods and rockers, cause bank holiday mayhem when they have running street battles in the street in Bormerighton. Yes, those Stop vain, broke-rim Nancy boys are causing trouble again. Yes, I'm talking about the coppers. Lord, Phil, Nick of things. Call them what you like. They sure know how to ruin a good day out. But what's this? Yes, yes. It's a brand new television station called BBC2. Britain now has three television channels. Much more than we bloody need, if you ask me. And are spoiled for choice. BBC2 will be the flagship of culture, serious drama, and really boring crap. But it finishes well before you go to bed. Yes, it's 8.30, and that's it for another crap night on the telly. Good night. But that's not all. Arr, Jim Loud. Yes, pirate radio stations are the latest thing to hit the airwaves. And they're not all at sea when it comes to entertaining the younger generation. Just one problem, though. It's crap. A bunch of no-hopers such as Tony Blackburn, John Peel, and the big hairy bastard. Even the foreign radio stations are capturing our youthful gullible audience with such delights as Radio Luxembourg and that French one who can sometimes get if you stand in the corner of your bedroom with your radio against a curtain rail at 45 degrees. But what's this? In the dance halls, there's a widespread epidemic of back problems when the new craze, the twist, hits the floor. If you don't want to show your age, then join the new rage of doing the twist, the frog, and the monkey. And if you've never done a monkey, you've not loved. Live. <laughs> That's all for now. <laughs>